Hello Falcons. In this lesson, you will learn about how to create a classic tween and how to create a motion tween. So let's get started. Uh, we will create a new HTML5 canvas. Click on HTML5 canvas and we're going to look at our stage properties in here all the way on the right hand side. And I'm going to click on the stage color background color, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to pick a background color. You can pick any color of your choice. And in this lesson, we are going to make some movements using the ball. And we're going to do a classic tween to make it the movement of the ball go from left to right. And uh, then we're going to use the motion tween to make the ball bounce at a certain path. So the first things first, in order for our ball to bounce, we need to have a crown. So I'm going to go to the toolbar and I'm going to use the line tool to draw the ground. So I'm going to click on the line tool and I'm going to select the color as black. I don't want to fill it with any color. I'm going to say the line stroke is seven. And I'm going to select the style as solid and the width. I'm going to make sure that it is uniform. And I'm going to draw the line here. So this black line is going to act as my crown. So now I'm going to go to my timeline and I'm going to rename my layer and I'm going to call this as crown. Double click on layer one and call it as crown. And now I need my ground line to extend not just at frame one, I need it to extend all the way until frame 50. So I'm, so I'm going to go to layer ground and I'm going to right click on frame 50 and I'm going to click on insert keyframe. So now my ground is extending from frame one all the way until frame 50. So before I go any further, let's go ahead and save our file. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to click on save as and I'm going to give the name of the file as lesson three bouncing ball and click save. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer. So what I need to do is I want to uh, create a circle shape and then convert that circle shape into a symbol so that I could use it as a ball and then I want the ball to move from left to right. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a separate layer. So I'm going to click on create new layer and I'm going to name this layer as red ball. And in layer red ball at frame one, I'm going to draw a circle. So I'm going to go to my toolbars. I'm going to select the oval tool and I don't want a stroke outline. So I'm going to click on the stroke outline and select no outline. And for the fill color, I can choose any color or I can also choose the radial gradient in here. So I'm going to select the red radial because the layer is named as red ball. And I'm going to draw a circle on the left side of the stage. I'm going to use my scroll bar to move out. And now I need to select this shape, the circle shape, in order to make it as a ball. So I'm going to go to my toolbars and I'm going to click on the very first one selection tool. And I'm going to click draw a square around the shape so that I select the whole circle. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on convert to symbol. Now it's going to ask me the name of the symbol one and the name of the symbol I'm going to give it as Actually, you know what, instead of saying ball, I'm just going to say red ball. And you're going to drop this type down and you are going to select graphic and I'm going to press OK. Now, if you see, instead of the dotted pattern, I have a rectangle pattern around the circle. Now, this is not a circle anymore. This has been converted to a symbol and I can animate the symbol now. So I'm going, just going to move this ball outside the stage so that I can um, do some animation with it. Now, in layer red ball, and I'm going to click on frame 10, and I'm going to right click on frame 10, and I'm going to click on insert keyframe. Now I'm going to move the red ball at frame 10 into a different location. You know what, I'm going to, uh, reduce the size of the stage so that I could see where uh, my ball is on the screen. 
So I'm going to uh, move this ball on the right hand side of the stage at frame 10. So I have two different positions. At frame one, the ball is on the left side and, I, and at frame 10, the ball is on the right side. So now I want to create an animation so that the ball moves from left to right. And I'm going to do a classic tween to do that. So I'm going to go to my layer, red ball, anywhere in that layer between frames one and 10, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on create classic tween. So once I do that, you will see a purplish box um, with a black arrow in it. This shows that this is a classic tween. So when I click on play, you will see the ball moving from left side of the stage to the right side of the stage. Now this is the basic movement and we used the classic tween to do the basic movement of the ball.